how to block any distracting or harmful website using block site Chrome extension increase productivity and stop procrastination. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser and then navigate to the following URL address which is https colon slash slash chrome dot google dot com slash web store slash category slash extensions. Once you're here you'll be on the chrome web store and once you're here what you'll need to do is navigate to the top left hand corner here to the search box and type the following block site all together and then hit enter. Once you've searched for block site you'll be brought to a list of extensions here which match your search. As you can see at the very top of the extension search here, we have a Chrome extension called BlockSite. Stay focused and control your time. It's offered by BlockSite.co and it's in the productivity section with over 25,000 reviews. So this is the extension that we want. So just left click on it to select it. As you can see, at the time of recording of this video, it has over 1 million plus users. Now to add BlockSite to your Chrome extensions, all you need to do is left click on add to Chrome here at the top right hand corner. Once you've done that, you'll get this little notification here that says add block site, stay focused and control your time. It can read and change all your data on the website you visit, display notifications, so you can either cancel or add extension. I'm going to hit add extension. And once you've done that, the block site Chrome extension will begin downloading and installing onto your Google Chrome web browser. Once block site has been added to Chrome, you'll be greeted with this new window here that says thank you for installing block site for block site to be able to provide insights on your web browsing habits as well as detect and block pages with adult or other content. We need permission to access information on the sites you visit. Please click I accept to enable this access and use of this information as described in our privacy policy. You can either accept or select maybe later. For this video I'm going to choose the option which says maybe later so I'm just going to left click on maybe later here. You'll then be taken to this window here which asks are you sure the category blocking and insights feature require us to have access to information regarding the sites you visit to detect and block sites automatically. Please note that we do not share this data with any third parties for the purpose of marketing or targeting individual users. Because I selected maybe Maybe later, I have been greeted with this window, so I have the option to say yes I'm sure or no go back. I'm going to go with yes I'm sure, so I'm just going to left click on this here. You'll then be taken to this window here that allows you to experience a three day free trial of BlockSite Unlimited. Now for this video we're actually going to be using the free plan only and we are not interested in any free trial or to get upsold. So to utilize only the free trial plan all you need to do is navigate to the top right hand corner here where it says choose a plan and hit the skip button here. Once you've done that, you'll be taken to this window here, which gives you a rundown of how exactly block site works. As you can see, all you do is enter your address that you want to block in here and then simply click the plus symbol. To close out of this small tutorial, all you need to do is left click anywhere on the page and it will disappear. All right, guys, once you're on this web page here, you're ready to block your first website. On the block site free plan, you can block up to a maximum of six sites. You will need to upgrade to block site unlimited to block more websites at at the same time. For me, six websites is plentiful. So now I'm going to quickly show you how to block your first website on block site. So all you need to do is open up another tab. So as you can see, I have another tab here and then simply copy the link of the website that you want to block. So as you can see here, I'm on websplaining.com. This is my own personal website. And for this video, we're going to be blocking this website. So all you need to do is navigate to the top of the address bar of the website that you want to block and copy the link. Once you've done that, navigate back to the block site tab here and then simply paste in the URL into the block site text box here. So I'm just going to do that now. And once you've done that, all you need to do is navigate to the right hand side of the URL you just entered and left click on the plus symbol here. As you can see, if we look in blocked sites, you can see that websplaining.com is now currently blocked. And below it here, you can see that we have five sites left that we can add to our block list. And now if we just simply navigate to the website that we just blocked here in this tab, you can see that block site will then redirect us to this window here, which says, nice try, you put websplaining.com in your block sites list. It's probably there for a reason. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, 
comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so